What's up guys, it's Cece coming back at you today with another video and today I'll be showcasing my first place spiral deck profile. Uh, just to list y'all my matchups, uh, I did go five and one. Uh, I can't remember in what order I faced these decks, but I did face these decks. Uh, I faced Altergeist for hire, two Salomon Great decks, one Sky Striker, and the one deck that I lost to is Tri Brigade. Yeah. Um, what can I say about Tri Brigade? He won, he won the die roll. That's all I got to say. That's pretty much why he won. It's because he won the, uh, the die roll. And he was able to go first two out of the three matches. So, yeah, that's why that's why he won. But, uh, yeah, had a pretty good uh, outing and showcase. <clears throat> and hopefully I can show y'all something y'all haven't seen in a while. Which, it spirals. When's the last time y'all seen those? Anyway, without further ado, let's get right on into it. Uh, to start us off with the main deck, I play one Spiral Quick Fix. When this card is normal or special summoned, I can uh, add one Spiral Gear, spiral gear Monster uh, from my deck to my hand. And then if it's in the graveyard while I control um, spiral, su spiral Super Agent, I can discard a card and special summon him again. And his search effect is not once per turn and neither it's a special summon effect, but if he special summons himself from the graveyard, he gets banished when he leaves the field. But there is ways around that. Next, I run three copies of Spiral Gear Drone when this card is normal or special summoned. Um, I can reveal the top, I can look at the top three cards of my opponent's deck and put them in any order. <coughs> so I look at the top three, I put them in any order, I remember what I put on top. And you'll see why that comes to importance in the next card. Next, I run three Spiral Super Agent. This is why this deck is here. The deck revolves around this card in this name. If this card is in your hand, you can declare one card type, Monster, Spell, or Trap, reveal the top card of your opponent's deck. And if it is the declared card, you could special summon this card. And then if this card is special summoned by the effect of a spiral card, you could target one spell and trap your opponent controls and destroy it. So it's back row removal and it's special. It's a free special summon. Because you open up gear drone and super agent, that's full combo. Next, I run two spiral tough. Um, this is okay. It's not the best. Uh, it's an it's a spiral name. Um, it this card works best going second, but uh, this card says this card's name becomes Spiral Super Agent while it is on the field or in the graveyard. And once per turn, I can declare one card type, Monster Spell or Trap, and target one card my opponent controls. Reveal the top card, and if it's the card that I declared, I can destroy the targeted card. So. Yeah, it's okay. Next, for the boss monster of the deck, I'll run three Spiral Sleeper. You might ask, why do you run Spiral Sleeper at three? Because Spiral is not what it used to be. It needed something extra and it needs three Sleeper. As my record shows in this latest showing that I did. Um, this, and one other card that uh, y'all will find out later what I'm talking about was it, it's, hard, it's hard to get around. It's not unbreakable, but it's hard to deal with. And y'all see what I'm talking about. Uh, pretty much Spiral Sleeper says uh, he cannot be a normal summon to set. He must be special summoned by um, banishing three spiral cards from your graveyard to special summon himself. And then once per turn during either player's turn, uh, quick effect, you can pop one spiral card you control and two cards your opponent controls. So, with this next card, Spiral Gear Last Resort, it, this card can equip from the hand or field to another spiral card, and the card you always want to equip with is Spiral Sleeper. 
because Spiral Gear Last Resort says the equipped Spiral Monster cannot be destroyed by battle or card effects and it cannot be targeted by card effects. So you can activate Sleeper's effect to pop himself and two cards and Last Resort will protect your Sleeper. Um, before the tournament, I was play testing this at two. I found it to be better to put it at one, but then again, I seen at times that I really needed the second one, so I might put it back in here. But uh, yeah, it worked pretty fine as a one of. It is searchable. Next for the hand trap portion of the deck, we run three Ash Blossom and Joy Spring. We want to slow down our opponent best way we can if we're going second, so that way we can do what we want to do. That's why it's in here. And here's a sneak peek, people. Yes, Dragoon plus Sleeper is a butthole to get around, as I noticed with my own two eyes, and my opponents did too. Because to have an Omni to gate and a pop two every turn, and then on your turn, you get to pop four cards. Yeah, it, it, it is really insane to deal with. Like I said, it's not impossible, but it is insane. Next for our field spells, we run one Spiral Resort and one Mystic Mine. Um, I considered playing Mystic Mine at two, but then again, I really did not want to see it that much. I mean, I do run Terraforming in the deck <clears throat> to kind of help search these cards. So, I mean, that's technically three ways to get into a field spell. I got two field spells and a searcher, so yeah. Uh, Mystic Mine, I played, I would say at least twice and pretty much slow rolled until I got what I needed to kill my opponent. So yeah, that, that came up clutch in, in at least two games. And next, to continue the one of the spells, I want, I'll, I'll run one Regeki one Monster Reborn, one Reinforcement of the Army to search our Super Agent and Tough, one Foolish Burial for our Quick Fix, one for one for our Drone and Quick Fix, one Called by the Grave to stop our opponent's hand traps, and Red Eyes Fusion. Interesting thing about this tournament, um, I, a guy, I, I went to go Ash Blossom a guy and he called by the grave my Ash Blossom. Well, next turn, I had all the stuff I needed to full combo, and he tried to Ash uh, my quick fix. Well, he forgot that he called by the grave. Because of that mistake, I ended up winning the game. Next for our two of spells, uh, two Spiral Gear Big Red. Um, Activate by targeting the spiral monster in your graveyard, special summon it. We normally special summon quick fix off of this, but I have at times special summoned a double helix off this, so pretty good. Uh, two twin twisters. Um, I was running Harpy's Feather Duster and play testing, but I, I come to realize that I needed some way to discard cards. Because a lot of times I needed quick fix or, or mission rescue in the graveyard and there was no way for me to get them in the graveyard. But at the same time, I wanted to keep back row removal. So I put twin twisters in here and it worked out pretty good. And two foolish burial goods for uh, Spire Mission Rescue. We want to see that in the graveyard because Spire Mission Rescue, which is this card right here, we want this in the graveyard because while this is in the graveyard and you have a spiral monster in your graveyard, you can banish this from your graveyard to special summon any spiral monster. It's a free monster reborn. And that's for I, why I, re, I run Foolish Burial Goods to get this in the graveyard as fast as possible. And last, but certainly not least, and last of the hand traps, I ran Three infinite and permanence. Like I said, we want to slow down our opponent if we were made to go second. Uh, so yeah, it helps. Um, next for the extra deck, I run two spiral double helix. 
It just takes two spiral monsters to link summon this monster. Um, this card's name becomes Spiral Super Agent while on the field or in the graveyard. And I can declare one card type, either monster, spell, or trap, reveal the top card of my opponent's deck, and if it's the declared card, I can either add to my hand or special summon one spiral monster from my deck or graveyard to a zone this uh, card points to. So either here at the bottom or here to the left. Really good, really good. Next, I'll run one Anaconda, because you know my Anaconda don't want none. Anyway, moving forward. Uh, one Link Karibo. I cannot tell you. This deck desperately needs this. I could almost consider running this as a two of. This is a really good card. Uh, one Nightmare Phoenix and one Nightmare Unicorn. These came up a few times. It didn't really do nothing nuts, but I'm glad I did have them in here. One Appaloosa, you know, get some monster negates going. One Crusadia Avermax. One Saryuja, because you know who don't like drawing cards. One Boral Sword Dragon. One Boral Load Dragon. And that's it for our Link Monsters. And of course, the boss monster himself with Sleeper, Dragoon. This card plus Sleeper is a headache to get rid of. Uh, for Aziz Monster, I run one Sylvian uh, Princess Sprite. Um, kind of helps dig through your deck a little bit. And also, if you use uh, Quick Fixes effect to bring himself back from the graveyard, it kind of helps to keep him in play. So that's why I run that. Now these, I did not special summon in the tournament, but um, I wanted to have them there just in case. Uh, Baguska and Abyss Dweller, it, in playtesting it did come up a few times and that's why I put them in here and, and, and kept them in here because I knew if I could summon them, it would be a really good addition to the deck. But like I said, it never did come up, but I am happy. I did have it in here just in case. Well, guys, that has been it for uh, the deck profile. I really hope y'all enjoyed. And uh, yeah, y'all y'all guys let me know what you think about spirals actually topping an event. That's crazy, right? Anyway, as always, uh, thank you all for watching. If you would, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you guys next time.